What up, what up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So the goal of this video is to give a few tips and I have an announcement. If you guys remember the last giveaway, this kit has still not been claimed by Rodrigo. He won. So if you know him, let him know that he won and he needs to hit me up. But if you don't claim it by Friday, I'm gonna spin the wheel again and pick somebody else. All right, so let's get back to the video. So this series of videos were inspired by uh, a really cool lady I met at uh, Lake what? at Lake Kachuma the other day. She was like freaking excited and thrilled to be out there fishing, and she was like she was trying to be about that life. Only problem was she was very unprepared. She had a, a ocean rod with a broken spinning reel with no fishing line trying to catch some trout. Yeah, you're just not set up for success. So I met her and she asked a few questions and I was planning on going out with Rob out on the boat. So the time that I had to show her everything she needed to get started was very, was very short. So I felt like I ended up cramming a lot of information in a short period of time and I'm not sure what she took from it. So, I'm making a series of videos for people like her and for myself. So if you can, please participate and leave your tips below, whether it's bass, crappie, trout, catfish, striper, whatever it is that you think will be good for a new person coming to fishing to know, leave it below and I'll try to explain it if I know how. If I don't, I'll figure it out and then explain it. Okay, well that's it. Let's get to the simple tip. So. One thing that I think is most important, and I'm taking this from uh, Brian Latimer, the best knot for you to tie is a knot that you know best. When he said that, that really stuck with me. The best knot for you to tie is a knot that you know best. And for me, that's the Palomar knot. I think that's the easiest knot to teach to someone who's new to fishing. All right, so while I was trying to help Marquita, I feel like I gave her too much information. I showed her like three different knots and none of those knots were the Palomar knot. I didn't think about it until she was out of my presence. Literally, if you, it don't matter what fishing pole you use. It doesn't matter if you're using a hand line. Only thing you absolutely need, in my opinion, is a hook and attach it to a fishing line. I've caught fish hand lining and with fishing poles in other different ways, but tying a knot was the most important thing. So regardless of the size of the line or the size of the hook, you do it the same way. Sometimes you'll have a hook that's really small, so the eye, you won't be able to just pinch the line and push it through. There's gonna be times when you're fishing for, say, trout or crappie. You're gonna use thinner line and a smaller hook. When you get a smaller hook, the eye of the hook will be, will be smaller. So you may not be able to just pinch the line and feed it through. Only thing you need to do, don't worry about it. Just take the single end, feed it through one time like this. If you're having a hard time fitting the loop through, double back through it. Like that. Either way, you got your loop through the eye of the hook. So you can do this one or two ways. Take your line, make a loop. So you pinch it and just feed it through. Just like that. Once you get it through, you have a loop on this end, and then you have your main line in the tag end over here. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna do a fold over knot. You got right here, here. You're just gonna bring this loop around here like that and you're gonna stick it through this loop right here. So you come through, through there. You pull it through. Now you just cinch it down, nice and slow. See that? And you're basically done. Now, this could be a smaller hook, a bigger hook, a lure, something like this, like a swim jig or something. 
It doesn't matter what it is. You take the hook and bring it through the loop. So I'm opening the loop. I'm gonna reach through, grab the hook, and then pull it through the loop like that. And now you cinch down. If you're tying a knot, it's good to wet the line, whether you put some spit on it or you put some water or whatever. Just pull down, you just cinch it down. Nice and slow, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling until the knot is cinched down. And just like that, your hook is attached to your line. Now you just cut off the tag in. <laughs> and it's real easy to make the mistake and cut the wrong line, but just cut the tag in off pretty close. And there you go. Easy knot for you to learn the Palomar knot. Don't matter how advanced you are or how new you are. The Palomar knot works for everybody. Well, yeah, that's about it. It's a real easy knot to tie. Hopefully um, this was helpful to somebody and to Marquita, sorry I wasn't able to remember to teach you this knot versus the other knots that were probably more complicated. But um, yeah, one of these days we're gonna link up again, we'll go fishing and I'll be able to show you a lot more. But Palomar knot right there. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And like always, if I don't see you on the water, I'll catch you next video. Peace out.